Hey fellas, it's Carson Brower here. My constellation is Pegasus, and the first slide I'm going to show you how to find it. Now, it is best seen in late November, and I chose the time of 6.25 p.m. Now, if you go to an open field and look east, you'll notice the Milky Way right around here. And I circled this cluster of stars, and if you look right to the right, you'll find the constellation, which is highlighted in blue. For the brightest stars in Pegasus, I have Elganib, which is a gamma, and it is 333.2 light years away. It is B2IV for a spectral type. It's a subgiant, and its radial velocity is 4.0 kilometers per second. The next one I have is Markab, which is alpha. It is 139.62 light years away. Spectral type is a B9V. It is a giant and its radial velocity is negative 2.2 kilometers a second. Right over here, I have NF. It is an epsilon. It is 672.5 light years away. Its spectral type is K2LBII. It's a supergiant and it is 5.2 km, which is kilometers a second, for its radial velocity. And last but not least, I have Sheet, which is a beta. It is 199.44 light years away. It is M M2.5 LL slash III for the spectral type. It is a red giant, and it is 8.7 kilometers a second for radial velocity. Now for deep space objects, I have the Stevens of galaxies which is located right right here and it is four galaxies that are all right around each other over here I have m15 which is a globular cluster that is near the NF star but still quite a distance away and right over here I have the NGC 7742 which is an unbarred spiral that is right around the corner and last but not least, I have Einstein's cross, which is a gravitationally lens quasar that is right around here. And for the mythology story I have, it is from Greek times. Uh, Pegasus was a winged horse that was born from Medusa and Poseidon when Medusa was seduced in the Athena's temple. Later, Athena had caught them and was very upset and ended up turning Medusa into a monster and made her have hair that was all snakes. And anytime she would look at someone, she would turn to stone. Later, Athena had sent a man named Perseus to kill Medusa and behead her. And right as that happened, Pegasus had popped out and come into the world. Pegasus had lived on Mount Helicon uh, right after birth, and a, name, a man named Beller Ophen had an idea to fly to Olympus on Pegasus, and not everyone agreed with him. And Zeus had a different idea and didn't think he could do it, so he had sent an or a horsefly to bite Pegasus, which caused Beller Ophen to fall off of Pegasus and land right back to Earth. Pegasus kept flying, though, and ended up making it there alone. Zeus had greeted him, and for payment, he put Pegasus' figure in the sky as a constellation, and Pegasus would go on and deliver Zeus's lightning bolts from there on. For my work cited, for my deep space objects, I use constellation-guide.com. For mythology story, I had used the windows to universe.org, and my star info, I used Stellarium. Thank you, and this is my presentation.